Welcome to the farm vlog today guys. So with all this snow gone, it's time to start our raised garden beds. We've got all our vegetables inside growing and they're just about ready to come outside in the next few weeks. So let's get this area all measured out and let's start rototilling the land so that we can build our raised garden beds with raw logs off our property. So all around the front of the house, we had these low shrubs. Now we don't want low shrubs here because, well, they don't produce any fruit or vegetables. So we're gonna be removing all these over the next couple days. I'll show you what we've already removed. We removed one here, and just behind me here, we removed a whole bunch of them. Now this area in particular right here is gonna be for our tomato plants. We're gonna have them all wrap around the front of the house. Just because the sun's coming around already and this will get full sun in the afternoon, which is really good for your tomato plants in the summertime. We're gonna add some horse manure to it for some compost. And then in the next month or two, we'll be able to start planting our tomato plants out front. But today our main focus is the raised garden bed. So let's head on over and let's get these raised garden beds built. So over the last few months, I've been slowly collecting all these logs. I'll put a link up here to some of the harvesting that we've been doing over the last few months. Right now we've got about 28 logs ready to start building our raised garden beds. We're gonna build a eight foot by seven foot garden bed, giving you about three and a half feet on either side to reach in and be able to work in your garden. We're gonna rototill the ground here first before we build our logs. So let's first rototill and then we can build our gardens. Now that we got this all tilled up, we're gonna take out the big chunks of grass. We're gonna take it out back. We're gonna compost it so that we can use the dirt in the next couple of years. And then we're gonna start building our raised garden bed with our logs. So we rototilled this area, this eight by seven area, and I dug down another six inches and I found frost down there but we're still going to need another two or three weeks till this frost completely thaws this is just what we have to work with this time of year makes it a little difficult gardening and building the raised beds but we'll work around it because we got to get this done for our logs. This one is a little bit smaller, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is just take some dirt and put it underneath so that it's the same level all the way around. When we go to do our second level, we're gonna take our log and put it on top and we're gonna notch it out so that we can interlock the next pieces going around in a square. And then we'll put a couple of screws in as well, just to hold it tight with probably some spikes on the inside and outside to keep them from shifting. Now that we've got all of our pieces cut and fit together, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to lift off the top ones and we're going to screw through this into the bottom just to keep them stable. So we finished up one of the raised garden beds out in the yard. We're going to take a break and we're going to make some kombucha inside. Let's head over to the kitchen. So one of the things we wanna do on the farm is we wanna start brewing our own kombucha. Now kombucha is really good for you. It has a lot of nutrients and health benefits. And it's really expensive to buy in the store. So one thing you can do to save money is you can actually brew it at home and that's what we're gonna to start today. We got these containers at Costco that we're gonna brew our kombucha in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a continuous brew. So basically, once we brew our first batch of kombucha and we take out what we want to fill our bottles, we'll just refill it with tea and sugar and we'll be able to keep going over and over again. Now, in order to make your kombucha, you need a SCOBY. Now, what a SCOBY is, it's a mixture of bacteria and yeast that ferments the tea and that's what 
kombucha is. It's fermented tea. Now, we ordered these ones online. They're actually really hard to find up in Canada. If you're in the States, super easy. There's tons of places online you can buy it from. We ordered this from a company in Vancouver that makes kombucha. And so we had them shipped out and we're gonna make two different kinds. So kombucha is really easy to make. Basically, all you need is two ingredients. You need your tea, which we're gonna use a strawberry black tea this time, but in the future, we're gonna grow our own tea leaves just so we can be a little more self-sustainable and not have to worry about buying tea from the store. You need sugar to feed the yeast and the bacteria, and of course your SCOBY, which is your kombucha all on its own. Now with the SCOBYs, you don't actually have to buy them. You can grow your own. Um, it takes about a week to grow the SCOBY itself. What you do is you just buy a bottle of unfiltered kombucha that's unflavored. You just want raw kombucha and it has to have the cultures in the bottle. So if it's been strained at all, it's not going to work. You just put it in a glass jar, put it in a warm space in your kitchen or wherever it's above 60 degrees. You don't want it to get too cold. And in about a week, you'll see this film start to grow on top of the jar and that's what your SCOBY is. Okay, so we've boiled the pot of water on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and add our tea to it and it's gonna steep for about an hour. We're gonna add our sugar. We'll pour it into our jar. We'll top that up with some cool water and then we'll be ready to add our SCOBY. So our tea has been steeping for about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and add our sugar now while it's hot so we can stir it to dissolve it and then we'll pour it into our container. Now for your sugar, you're gonna add a cup and a half per gallon. So our container, we're gonna use about three gallons of tea. Now it seems like a lot of sugar but the bacteria in the SCOBY is what feeds on the sugar, so the drink actually doesn't have a high sugar content. Now, with kombucha, you can't use alternative sweeteners like stevia or any synthetic sweeteners because it won't actually feed your kombucha. We're just going to stir it to make sure all the sugar is dissolved. So we've added and dissolved all of our sugar to our tea. We're going to pour it in our container and then we're going to add the same amount in cool water. Spilling it everywhere. Once you've added your tea to your container, you're going to add an equal part of water. You want to make sure you use either filtered or untreated water. You just don't want it to have any chlorine. So if you're on city, definitely don't just use your tap water. We're on a well here though, so our water's not treated, so it's safe for us to use for our kombucha. We've added our tea and our sugar and our water to our jar. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add our SCOBY to it. Then we're gonna cover it with some cheesecloth and just tie a string around it. You can use an elastic, I just don't have one big enough to go around here. We're gonna let it sit for about eight to 14 days, basically until you start seeing bubbles rise in the jar and then you know it's ready. Cause your container to explode. So always just cover it with a cloth. So our kombucha 
ready to sit now. We're gonna put it on the stand that came with it and we're gonna sit it on a shelf and we'll come back and check on it in several days. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys, as we built our first raised garden bed and as we started our first two batches of kombucha. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be bottling these two batches using different fruits to make some yummy combinations. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.